Javante Tank Davis will never be a real Muslim. It don't matter if he changed his language, changed his name. It don't matter. He will never be a real Muslim because the culture and religion of the Muslims belongs to the Arabs. And Javante Tank Davis is just simply not an Arab. He is a Jew, according to the Bible. Rather, he likes it, knows it or not. That is his real identity. But see, you should not be surprised. Black people have a tendency of attaching ourselves to every religion and culture and way of life that does not belong to us because we don't know who we are. So, of course, we'll accept being Muslim and accept being some second class Muslim. That's because that's what Javante Tank Davis is trying to follow the Arabs religion and way of life. But let me ask you a question. Why is it that Javante Tank Davis has not received any backlash for claiming to be Muslim and changing his entire name? Why? I'll tell you why. Because nobody has ever gave a damn about a black man claiming to be Muslim, claiming to be Christian or Baptist or Catholic or some comedic scholar or any of these other philosophies and doctrines. Nobody's ever gave a damn if a black man decided to be any one of those. But let a black man say that they're the real Jews that the Bible speaks of, or you're going to receive a hefty fine. You might lose your TV show. You might lose all of your endorsements. Hell, Javante Tank Davis may never fight on Showtime again. He may never uh, fight on Mayweather promotions or any of those things if he says he's a Jew. But claiming to be Muslim, nobody cares about that. That's the safe route and uh, the safe identity for a black man to accept over his real identity, which is to being the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. And rather Javante knows it or not, he is a second class Muslim uh, compared to them other Arabs out there. Why? Because the God of the Arabs looks like the Arabs. You understand that cobblestone that's in Mecca? It's in Mecca. It's in Arab neighborhoods. It is not in a nigga's neighborhood. It's in a Arab's neighborhood. All on that damn cobblestone. Listen, there ain't no God inside of that, inside of that pebble, that damn pop rock. You understand? That thing is one inch away from being a damn bum bum. Now, Tanks, I fuck with you, but I got to keep it a bind with you. Allah is not your God. And in fact, in the Quran itself, it says that God's chosen people are the Israelites. So you can have your name be Javante Tank Davis or Abdul. It makes no difference. What you have to understand is they're both slave names from a different slave master.